Ready and racing. Gideon's daughter jumped away really well as one of the early leaders with Josie Mo. Fire Glow's gone up there too. Sunlit from Heaven and Burnt Sugar. Sundrop Nelly got taken out in the first turn. And wide out to Sky Velocity. He races only five lengths off the leaders. Fire Glow goes to the head of affairs here. Taken up strongly there by about a length or so. From in second, Josie Mo, Gideon's daughter, is racing away in third. A length and a half back to Burnt Sugar and Sundrop more settled now. Is racing towards the rear end of the field. Sky Velocity and Sunlit from Heaven are the back markers. And only six, seven lengths cover them as they went down to the top of the back straight. And they've got 1,200 metres to go. And it's Fire Glow that led it by just over two lengths here from Josie Mo, Gideon's daughter. Racing a lot handier back in third. Then came behind that Burnt Sugar in fourth. Sundroppers back in fifth position. Gives them five lengths start. A length away to Sky Velocity. And Sunlit from Heaven is the back marker. Seven lengths to make up. Racing down towards the last 800 metres. And Fire Glow still leads it. Fire Glow, Mozzieni. Got it by a couple here. From in second, Josie Mo and Gideon's daughter racing away in third. Then Sundrop is back in that fourth position with Burnt Sugar up on the outside. Sky Velocity is seven lengths off the leader with Sunlit from Heaven, the back marker. About to be homeward bound, 500 metres left to go and Fire Glow led it by two lengths. Gideon's daughters down towards the inside. Josie Moe's on their outside, then back to Sky Velocity. Entering the last 300 metres, Fire Glow's kicked again, led by three lengths from Josie Moe and Gideon's daughter. In behind that is Sky Velocity and then came Sun Drop into the last 150. Fire Glow, Josie Mo on the outside emerges as the principal threat. Then Gideon's daughter. Fire Glow on the outside is Josie Mo and then Gideon's daughter. But it's going to go to Josie Mo. Josie Mo beat Gideon's daughter. Then came Fire Glow, Sunlit from Heaven, Sky Velocity. Further back to Sun Drop and Burnt Sugar. ...of Josie Mo. This is bred by the Stonehill Stud. Nominee Mr. Heinrich Ricks, owner is Petrus de Toy. Had to wait nine runs for the maiden win, but she's got it all the same, and she'll go on uh, for trainer Kelly Mitchley today. Josie Mo shortened to five rand ten a tote win, and two rand fifty a place. Confirming second was the tote favourite, number four, Gideon's daughter. Third will go to number five, Fire Glow. Welcome back. First leg of the pick six this afternoon, won by Josie Mo, the daughter of Royal Mo. Now, I've been following her for quite some time. I didn't put her in today, and what happens? Yep, she arrives. But anyway, well done to the Kelly Mitchley stable. And with me is the man, and that is Paris. He's collecting the 1,500 rand courtesy of World Sports Betting for the groom, which is Sipe. Now, Sipe was the captain of Barcelona when they played the soccer year last weekend, and he was the captain of the losing team. Don't forget to tell him that his team lost. But... Uh, Paris, tell him very well done. Yeah, well done. Well done. All right, thank you. There we go. That's Paris for Sipe. Let's go to Samanga. He's going to come into the winner's box this afternoon. On paper, to me and Nadine, we both thought, thought Gideon's daughter, Fire Glow, were the two to fight it out. But we did give this runner a bit of a value chance. Well done to you. Thank you, Neil. Now, obviously, big thanks uh, to Kelly. Got in the ring, you know, no pressure. Just explained to me how the filly is, very one-paced. And uh, if, she, if, if she travels this time around, uh, she should run a big race and uh, she doesn't give up. So that was the main thing. And I thought uh, uh, she came out quite, quite, quite nicely out the gate. And then from there, we just uh, waited and bounded our time. And I think she liked it when she, she was on the outside, not behind the horse. And uh, she could like, hold a bit all the way through it. And uh, I'd come around, I felt like she hit a little flat spot. But uh, they didn't tell me that she'll hit a little first flat spot. But I uh, uh, had to pick her up again and uh, she put a challenge up towards the end. She was doing her best, so big thanks. Samanga, you know who used to hit a flat spot in group one? Pocket power. Oh, yeah. Ask Bernard, he'll tell you, he used to hit a flat spot, but then when he kicked again, it was race over. You know, <laughs> as a rider, you, you, worry, you worry a bit uh, because, uh, you know, the, where you actually want them to start to unwind and they hit that flat spot and you panic a little bit. But, uh, you know, where this time around, uh, I think uh, she, she, she did it in a, uh, in a style where she has to still pick it up, you know, so it was quite nice uh, where she put a 
uh, got a great finish towards the end. Again, uh, to my sponsors, Maurice Fontaine, Volkabos Drift, well done to them. And again, to Mr. Detroit, got a nice, <laughs> I think, first time wearing this color. So, well done, team. I think uh, putting in the right race is even a little bit further. Aha, now we're talking. <laughs> <Even> <laughs> I've been saying further. that for a long time. <laughs> and uh, definitely, she, she will try and run them down. Again, uh, Thanks to uh, the Michelin and uh, thanks to, uh, obviously, my sponsors and uh, to the groom. They do the hard work behind the scenes and uh, to the playing fans. Whoop, whoop. Another whoop, whoop. Why not? Let's go to Kelly. She's smiling in the background because she knows I've always said that we're looking for a little bit of extra distance. And she won today, Josie Mo, over what I think is touch on the short side. But at the end of the day, we'll see where she goes. You've always liked her. She's always been one of your favorites back home. I saw on the beach at Maitland a long time ago, and I always penciled her in to keep an eye on her. You'll be happy with that. And uh, well done to Mr. Detoy. I thought uh, he's going to be thrilled to bits. Yes, no, he is over the moon. It's his first winner and wow. also his first horse that he bought. We, I actually met him at the sale. We were bidding each other up on the horse. And then he came to me and says, oh, you know, I'll, I'll take the horse from you. And then, yeah, we've got a very nice horse. I really like her. We just got her mom at Hopes and Dreams Stud and got her full sister, also by Royal Mo. And, yeah, no, very exciting times ahead. So. And he's going to be excited when he gets this from the Racehorse Owners Association. Another 15,000 to you, Petrus de Tue. Very well done to you, sir. Lovely to have your first winner in your own colours. And another 15,000 rand. Well done, Kelly. That's awesome. Hopefully we can have a few more for him. And Josie can pull off another couple for him. Um, over distance, obviously. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, she's no sprinter. Yet we did put her in 1,000. She's run pretty well. Over 1,000 till, till the 1,900. I just want to say a huge thank you to my team back at home and to our sponsors, Betway. Um, for all the efforts they put into racing as well, and to Carl and everyone else involved, and to Petrus, well done, and congratulations on a superb win. All right, now stay there, because you've got a lot of winners already, and you're learning to speak on TV, and the people appreciate it. So I've been on your, I've had a look at the message you sent through. If I had to ask you to narrow it down to maybe two runners that you think have still got winning chances from your stable this afternoon, what would they be? I really do like launch, launch code um, coming out. Um, he's working well. He's improved from that win and also impressive Nessie in the seventh. Right. She went a bit hard last time out. Shouldn't have went so hard. I think she would have run a much better race and she's coming on leaps and bounds. I wouldn't leave her out. Thank you so much. Thank you so well much. Done. There we go. There we go. A little bit of insight for the jackpots because if you did go out your pick six, the jackpot starts now as well. And we got the little bit of a heads up with regards to the Kelly Mitchley stable for the remainder of the afternoon.